So you're playing Pokemon Emerald on an emulator and you want to get yourself a Deoxys. But where do you get it? How do you get it? Sure, you could probably enter in a cheat code that would allow you to run into a wild Deoxys in any random patch of grass if you wanted to, but I'm here to show you a better way. This way is actually reminiscent of an old Nintendo event where players were rewarded with an item called the Aurora Ticket. This ticket, when presented at one of the harbor locations, would allow players to travel on the SS title to an otherwise unreachable place known as Birth Island. It would be here that players were met with a semi-complicated puzzle that, when solved, would trigger an event where you would run into a wild level 30 Deoxys. I'm going to show you what codes you need in order to obtain the Aurora Ticket, trigger the event, how to get through the puzzle, and catch a Deoxys of your very own. Now, if you watched my other video on how to obtain Mew, this video is going to be very, very similar and almost identical in some ways. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab the master code. And you'll notice that in my setup here, you can see all the options for Visual Boy Advance, File, Emulation, Options, etc. We're going to go to Tools, we're going to go to Cheats, List Cheats, Plus, and the green ribbon here is for add new cheat. We're going to go ahead and drop the master code right in there. We're going to label it master code. And I believe for the type, you can probably put in Game Shark Advance or generic code. Either one works totally fine. Okay. And when you hit OK, it's going to show you two lines for master code. And exactly like the Mew video, we're also going to enter in the anti DMA. Don't know what it means, but we need it. So let's go ahead and enter it in there. All right. And now we should have two lines for master code and anti DMA. These codes should be identical to the Mew video. And if you can't read these codes, don't worry about it. They're going to be in the description box down below, so no big deal. All right. And then we have to drop in a separate code for the Aurora ticket and a separate code for the Birth Island event enabler. Now, this code for the Birth Island event enabler is also the same as the Mew video, but I've seen a couple of different codes out there for the Birth Island event enabler. Okay. Birth Island event, but I'm just going to use this one that works for uh, the Mew event just because I know it works. Okay, and the last thing that we got to drop in is the Aurora ticket. We're going to pick this up from a Pokemart. Any Pokemart will do with a little asterisk next to that. I will explain about that in a moment. Aurora ticket, generic code. Okay, so it should look exactly like this. Two lines for master code, two lines for anti-DMA, two lines for birth island event, and one for Aurora ticket. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Pokemart. I'm going to do this in Old Dale Town, but you can do it wherever there is a Pokemart available. How may I serve you, says the cashier. We're going to go to buy. The very first option is a Pokeball for $0, and it has, instead of a Pokeball in the thumbnail image, a uh, Aurora ticket. And it says with a description as a ticket required to board the ship to Birth Island. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go ahead and say yes for free. There we go. Now... You'll have to go to one of the harbor locations to board the SS title, but I found that in Slateport there is a Pokemart, and then just uh, next to it, more or less, is the harbor. For whatever reason, if you go to the Pokemart in Slateport and you get this ticket, which you can do, like I said, at any Pokemart, and then you immediately walk over to the harbor to get on the SS title, it doesn't work. I think that you have to fly away and then come back in order for the event to actually work. But for me, I went to Old Dale to get the ticket, just like I did the Old Sea map. And then I fly with Flygon over to Lily Cove. It works for me every time, but you might find a different combination of places to go to do this, but this is what I'm doing. All right. So now that we're here, we're going to go down to the southwestern part of town to the harbor. Okay. All right. And then just to make sure, I'm going to verify the codes are all working. We're going to tools, cheats, list cheats. They're all in here. Make sure all the boxes are checked and they are by default. The only way they'd be unchecked here is if you would have unchecked them yourself. So make sure it looks just like this with all the checks and then you're good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and talk to Lady Greenhair here. Fair to slate port is, oh, that pass. Okay. So now the dialogue has changed from the normal fairing back and forth between Lily Cove and Slateport, um, or the Battle Frontier. Is it you who uh, brought that odd ticket? Uh, where you're trying to go is an island that's far, far away. No one knows what awaits there. The very thought excites my blood as a sailing man. Get on board, youngster. Cool, let's do it. Now, in addition to the codes below the puzzle, I'm going to give you details on how to solve it. And you can walk around if you want. There's not really much to see outside of here on the landing zone. After you make your way all the way up here, you're going to come across a little triangle. This triangle is something that you're going to interact with, and every time you click it, it's going to move. So I just walk straight up to it, I click it, and it starts to get a little bit more red. Apparently the triangle is like heating up. What you need to do every time the triangle moves is you need to minimize the amount of steps it takes to get to the triangle every time, to the most least amount of steps. So I'm going to go over, and I'm going to click on it, and it moves again, and it's slightly more red. We're going to go over. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go up. All right, then we're gonna go over, and then we're gonna go down. Okay, then we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go over. All right, and then we're gonna go over. We click on it. We're gonna go over, and then down. All right, and then we're gonna go. Let's see, down and then over. All right, and then we should just be able to go all the way over this way. Click on it, and then over, and then down, and then straight up. And boom, that triggers Deoxys. And again, I'll have all the steps written down for you down below as well. All right, so Deoxys appears. Now, at this point, you're gonna have to do your best to whittle his health down as much as possible, use any status moves that actually work on him if there are any, um, and have an army, uh, like a mountain, of Ultra Balls, because he's very difficult to catch. But for me, uh, I'm not going to worry about all that. I'm actually going to straight up use my Master Ball, because I'm not going to worry about it. Boom! Master Ball, there you go. Deoxys, you have been caught, son. And there you go. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but I read that Deoxys can be shiny here, I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if it's true. I've never seen one, but I read when doing some research on this that he could be. So you can go ahead and like save the state of the game with the built into the emulator, not save, you know, and then uh, reload it every time and try to interact with him if you'd like just to see if he can be shiny. Can't confirm it, but if you do want to do a shiny one, let me know because I would love to know if it's actually true. All right, the Pokedex entry is DNA Pokemon number 386 on the National Dex. A Pokemon that mutated from an extraterrestrial virus exposed to a laser beam. What a wild, like, backstory or origin story that is. Its body is configured for superior agility and speed. Okay. Yeah, this is actually Deoxys' speed form that you get. Uh, hence, agility and speed. Uh, give a nickname to the capture. Deoxys? No. Okay. Now, Deoxys is in my party, so let's go ahead and take a look at what he's got. Level 30, 73 HP it looks like. We're going to go to Summary. Psychic Type, uh, Careful Nature, met at level 30. Pressure raises the foe's PP usage. <laughs> oh, jeez, grow up, Mark. All right, Moves, Knock Off, Pursuit, Psychic, and Swift. There you go. So this is how you get Deoxys, and those are the movesets that he's got. Now, there's not really a whole lot to the island. This is pretty much all there is that you can do, but uh, if you want to look around, feel free to do so. But there it is. There you go. You get Deoxys. Going to go ahead and travel back now, and we're all set. Now, it is kind of unfortunate there's no other way to legitimately capture some of these Pokemon like Mew and Deoxys. They're all in-game events only, but at least there is a way to get the items and trigger the event, even if you are using codes. Now, I do want to point out one little thing about this, is that even though we cheated to get the item to get the uh, uh, aurora ticket and we cheated to trigger the event capturing deoxys as far as the game is concerned is legitimate now i know that we're using an emulator so i don't know why for example you'd want to get a shiny one and you probably will have very difficult time or a very difficult time trying to find a way to transfer your captured deoxys to any other game but I have heard that there are ways, it's technology, there's always a way with everything. So if you do have motivations to trade this Deoxys out, whatever game file that he ends up in, he will be considered a legitimate Pokemon. He's not considered a cheat. The, the event is what we cheated to trigger, but the actual capturing of him is legit by all the game's awareness. So just keep that in mind that if you want to keep this Deoxys, that he is a legitimate Pokemon, and that he can be used in any way, shape, or form if you can figure out a, a way to get him out of this game and into another one. Um, difficult, but possible, I'm sure. Anyway, appreciate you watching the video, and I'll uh, see you next time when we look at capturing Ho-Oh and Lugia in Pokemon Emerald. Alright, thanks again, guys. I will see you later. Take care.